Hey there, welcome back to another video. Uh, in the previous video, we mentioned arithmetic operators and I forgot one topic and that is typecasting or type conversion, explicit type conversion. And so I'm going to introduce that in this video. Basically, we had x equals 5, y equals 2, and we had our float z equals x over y. And if I try to run our program, we get 2 instead of 2.5. And the reason was you're dividing two integers 5 divided by 2, you're going to get an integer type back. But first, it becomes 2.5, then it gets truncated, and then now you get 2. So x divided by y gives us this 2. And then, since we're assigning it to a variable of type float, we do an implicit conversion, and that becomes 2.0f. So that's what we see here. But we can explicitly cast the type, so we can say float of x. So now we're doing float divided by int, and this is casting the type, not the variable itself. So it's doing 5 to 5.0. So if I run our program now, we get 2.5. And it doesn't matter if you put the float here or here. It'll do the same thing. And yeah, that's type casting. Uh, usually we don't use this unless we're working with arithmetic operations. Because if you were to assign a value to a variable that is not of the exact type, again, C++ does its implicit conversions. But sometimes you might want to just directly cast the type of a variable. So in this case, let's cast Z, which is a float, to a character. And let's see what happens. And we get this nice smiley face. All right, cool. Very nice. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. That's type casting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I just want to add that when I ran my program and I got this smiley face, I'm not sure why that is. It might be some undefined behavior. So you might not get a smiley face on your end, uh, but don't be sad about that. Uh, this is converting the character to an ASCII. I mean, converting the number to its ASCII character. So if I put in 65, oops, that's a little bit too big, 65, and I ran that, we get A, okay? So... Yeah, the first few characters are more string formatting characters, so I'm not sure why the smiley face came out, but I'm glad it did. Okay, bye-bye.